Okay, so here's my first knife switch I ever made, and I thought it was pretty big, and it's pretty cool. Um, it's out of aluminum, and this is a knife sharpening handle. Uh, two poles, uh, and single throw. So there's that switch. It's about 10 inches tall, including the handle. But today, I built something a little bit cooler. A gigantic triple pole single throw fused knife switch. So this fuses are for 100 amps, but it could hold a uh, handle well over um, probably 1,000 amps. Um, I'll get another close up here after I show you the basic parts of it. Um, three knife blades. Uh, this is all made out of aluminum. This is, I think, half inch. And that's the one quarter inch aluminum. Uh, then I uh, used uh, mechanical lugs. They, the real knife switches don't have that, so they can. Um, uh, I did that so I could attach a wire through there. Uh, three 100 amp fuses uh, cost. This fuse uh, cost $8. Now, back some time ago, when these were bought, these are only $3, so there's kind of a big difference. I found these in the barn and I decided to take them. Uh, don't tell anybody. But, uh, and the handle up here is from a vintage um, battery tester. Um, it's the one that is used on my rocket launcher up there, the meter. Um, that's basically it. You know, I'll throw it for you. So, it's pretty sweet. Um, so let me get another close-up. Okay, so here's the close-up here. Um, here's one of the uh, um, receivers for the blade. And as you can see here, um, these are um, screws, the uh, number 10, 3 4 screws with a uh, split washer so I can tighten it up. Um, and then here is just some uh, machine nuts and bolts. And then there's a close-up at that. And I have those right there so it will stop and not go any farther. You can pull that out. And it closes. Um, so then down here is the fuses. Now I wanted to make these fuses so you could pull them out like that. Um, like switch, but I decided not to because it was way too hard. Um, getting it adjusted. So these are removable, but um, as you can see there is a nut and bolt right there. So you have to un, uh, unscrew that there, but works pretty well. Um, and then uh, to bring this, join the switch to the fuses, I use just another piece of three-fourths aluminum, and like that. So I had to drill all these um, at once, and then bend them. And the more I did it, the more errors kind of came around. Uh, after you do something a whole bunch of times, uh, it's really easy to screw up once and then get all messed up. And then the mechanical lugs down there again. Uh, and it fuses. So that's basically my giant switch.